question. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, prove that scalar triple product of vector A plus vector B, vector B plus vector C and vector C plus vector A is equal to 2 times scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C. So now begin with the solution. Now we will first consider the left hand side. This is equal to scalar triple product of vector A plus vector B, vector B plus vector C and vector C plus vector A. Now this is equal to vector A plus vector B dot vector B plus vector C cross vector C plus vector A. Now this is equal to vector A plus vector B dot vector B cross vector C plus vector B cross vector A plus vector C cross vector C plus vector C cross vector A. Now this is equal to vector A plus vector B dot vector B cross vector C plus vector B cross vector A plus vector C cross vector A. Now this is equal to vector A dot vector B cross vector C plus vector A dot vector B cross vector A plus vector A dot vector C cross vector A plus vector B dot vector B cross vector C plus vector B dot vector B cross vector A plus vector B dot vector C cross vector A. We have got this because vector C cross vector C is equal to 0. Vector A dot vector B cross vector A is equal to vector A dot vector C cross vector A. And this is equal to 0. Similarly, vector B dot vector B cross vector C is equal to vector B dot vector B cross vector A and this is also equal to 0. So this is equal to vector A dot vector B cross vector C plus vector B dot vector C cross vector A. Now this is equal to scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C and this is equal to scalar triple product of vector B, vector C and vector A. Scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C is equal to scalar triple product of vector B, vector C and vector A. So this is equal to scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C plus scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C and this is equal to 2 times scalar triple product of vector A, vector B and vector C. And this is equal to right hand side. So we have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this completes the session. Bye and